You know the technology that powers our electric cars, trucks, and even buses? It's been a really wild journey watching how these batteries have transformed over the years, becoming more powerful, more efficient, and even more affordable. Let's rewind the clock and trace the evolution of EV batteries, from the very beginning up to the cutting edge of what's to come. By the end of this, you're going to have a whole new appreciation for just how far this technology has come. Sounds good? Alright, let's get started. So, what happened in between? How did we go from those early lead-acid batteries to the advanced lithium-ion and solid-state tech we have now? Well, my friends, it's a story of relentless innovation, bold engineering, and an industry that's really started to hit its stride. We've got to start at the very beginning, and that means looking back to the late 19th century. That's when the first ever electric vehicles started hitting the roads, powered by good old lead-acid batteries. These were the pioneers, the trailblazers, paving the way for the EVs we know and love today. Imagine stepping onto the streets of the 1890s. The clip-clop of horses is giving way to a new sound, or rather, the lack of it. The first electric vehicles are silently gliding through city streets, powered by an invention that would change the world, the lead-acid battery. Here's something fascinating. Back in those early days, electric vehicles actually outnumbered gasoline-powered cars in many major cities. Companies like Baker Electric and Detroit Electric were producing these silent runners for wealthy urbanites, especially women who appreciated their clean, quiet operation and easy starting compared to hand-cranked gasoline engines. Lead-acid batteries might not have been the most advanced tech, but they got the job done. They used a chemical reaction between lead, lead dioxide, and sulfuric acid to generate electricity. And while they weren't exactly lightweight or high-powered, they did the trick for those early electric cars and even some early electric trains. The only problem was, those lead-acid batteries came with some pretty big limitations. Their energy density was pretty low. We're talking about 30 to 40 watt-hours per kilogram. To put that in perspective, modern lithium-ion batteries can pack up to 265 watt-hours per kilogram. Plus, charging times were astronomical. We're talking 8 to 10 hours for a full charge, and you'd be lucky to get 40 to 50 miles of range. Which meant the driving range of those early EVs was pretty limited too. And charging times? Forget about it. We're talking hours, not minutes. Plus, the infrastructure to charge these things was virtually non-existent back then. Now, here's a cool piece of history that often gets overlooked. Thomas Edison was actually super passionate about electric vehicles. In fact, he spent years developing what he called the Edison Battery, a nickel-ion design that he believed would revolutionize electric transportation. Edison's batteries were more durable than lead-acid and could handle deeper discharges without damage. They were also less toxic and could operate in a wider temperature range. Pretty impressive for the early 1900s, right? Some of these batteries were so well built that there are actually a few still functioning today, over 100 years later. But in the world of innovation, standing still means falling behind. And as electric vehicles started gaining more and more attention, engineers and scientists knew they had to step up their battery game. That's where the real transformation began. Fast forward a few decades and we start seeing some real progress in EV battery tech. One of the key breakthroughs came in the form of nickel metal hydride, and IMH batteries. These were a game changer, especially for hybrid vehicles like the early Toyota Prius models. These have offered a significant step up in energy density, which translated to longer driving ranges for electric cars. And IMH batteries were developed by none other than the legendary Thomas Edison back in the early 1900s. He saw the potential in these rechargeable batteries and knew they could be a game-changer for electric vehicles. And he was right. NIMH tech allowed those early EVs to go further and faster than ever before. Want to know something cool? NIMH batteries were actually first developed for consumer electronics. You might remember them from early digital cameras or portable CD players. But automotive engineers saw their potential and adapted the technology for vehicles. They offered about twice the energy density of lead-acid batteries and could handle many more charge cycles. The Toyota RAV4 EV from the late 1990s is a perfect example of what NIMH batteries could do. It could travel up to 120 miles on a single charge. Pretty impressive for its time. And some of these vehicles are still running today testament to the durability of NIMH technology. 
Yet, even with these remarkable advances, electric vehicles still faced an uphill battle. While NIMH batteries pushed the boundaries of what was possible, gasoline-powered cars continued to dominate the roads. The dream of a fully electric future remained just out of reach. But the next chapter in battery technology was already being written in laboratories across the world. And that's exactly what happened with the rise of lithium-ion batteries. This game-changing tech is what we have to thank for the electric vehicles we know and love today. Let me tell you, the transformation was nothing short of remarkable. Early experiments with lithium batteries in the 1970s were actually pretty dangerous because pure lithium is highly reactive. It wasn't until researchers figured out how to use lithium ions instead of pure lithium that things really took off. And would you believe it? This breakthrough actually came from research into petroleum alternatives during the 1970s oil crisis. Then, lithium-ion batteries first started making waves in the late 20th century. But it wasn't until the early 2000s that they really took the EV world by storm. These offered a massive boost in energy density, which translated to longer driving ranges and faster charging times. The way lithium-ion batteries work is pretty cool. It all comes down to the movement of lithium ions between the anode and the cathode. During charging, the ions flow from the cathode to the anode, where they're stored. And when you're driving, the ions flow back the other way, generating the electricity that powers the vehicle. Simple, right? But this simple back and forth is powerful enough to move a two-ton vehicle. But it wasn't just the battery chemistry that made lithium-ion tech so revolutionary. Engineers also got super creative with the materials they used in the cathode. You've got lithium cobalt oxide, lithium iron phosphate, and all sorts of other cool formulas that have been optimized for different applications. And hey, if you're enjoying the video so far, remember to like and subscribe for more videos exploring the latest advancements in electric vehicle technology. And let us tell you that versatility has been a game changer. Lithium ion batteries can be tailored to power everything from your laptop to a massive electric bus. It's all about finding the right balance of energy density, power output, and cost. And boy, have the engineers figured that out. Thanks to lithium ion tech, electric vehicles have truly come into their own. We're talking longer ranges, faster charging, and a driving experience that can easily compete with gas-powered cars. It's been an absolute revolution, and we're just getting started. But you know what they say, the future waits for no one? And in the world of electric vehicle batteries, the innovation just keeps on coming. We're already seeing the rise of some next-generation tech that's poised to take EVs to even greater heights. One of the most exciting developments is solid-state batteries. These ditched the traditional liquid electrolyte in favor of a solid, ceramic-based material. And let us tell you this, the benefits are pretty impressive. We're talking higher energy density, faster charging times, and improved safety compared to the lithium-ion batteries we have now. But solid-state batteries aren't the only game-changer on the horizon. There's a lot of buzz around alternative battery chemistries, like sodium-ion and even graphene-based tech. These materials could offer even greater energy density, lower costs, and the potential for faster charging. And you know what's really exciting? A lot of these next-gen battery technologies are already being tested and refined in real-world EV applications. We're talking prototypes, pilot programs, the whole nine yards. It's a testament to just how quickly this industry is evolving. So, what do you think? Are you as excited about the future of EV batteries as we are? Let me know in the comments below. Now, what does the future hold for electric vehicle batteries? Well, if the past is any indication, we'd say we're in for one heck of a ride. Faster charging, longer ranges, and even more affordable EVs. It's all on the horizon. And we can't wait to see what the engineers and scientists come up with next. All right, folks, there you have it. A deep dive into the evolution of electric vehicle batteries. From those early lead-acid pioneers to the cutting-edge tech we have today. It's been a wild and wonderful journey, and if you ask us, the best is yet to come. As we've seen, the steady march of innovation has transformed EVs from niche curiosities to mainstream marvels. And with game-changing developments like solid-state and next-gen battery chemistries on the horizon, we have a feeling the future of electric vehicles is going to be nothing short of spectacular. Curious about electric vehicles? This is just the beginning. Don't miss our previous video on the EV charging tech evolution. 
where we break down how enhanced charging speeds, growing infrastructure, and innovative technologies are transforming the way we power our electric vehicles. From rapid DC fast charging to smart home integration, discover how EV charging has become more convenient and accessible than ever. Alright, that's all we've got for you today, folks. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of EV batteries. We'll catch you next time. Until then, keep on driving.